to continue. <laughs> Madam, it's also one of the good opportunities and it's one of the good income generation, madam, where uh, uh, in all other districts it's not present, but especially in Chitu district, uh, we only, uh, SHG women, uh, we running the BMCs, uh, that is uh, uh, bulk milk chilling units. Uh, these units are totally uh, run by the SHG women only. Actually, the main idea and main intention of this uh, bulk milk uh, chilling uh, units is uh, uh, one of the good thing is uh, Chitu district is uh, mostly uh, it is a uh, rain fed and uh, major agriculture is there, but most of them uh, depends on the milch animals only. In uh, it is a uh, top in milch animals and uh, nearly our seven lakh SLG women. So in that, if we take uh, in ninety percent are uh, everybody is having a cow so we planned to have our own uh, bulk milk uh, chilling units so with that uh, we uh, with the help of uh, national dairy development uh, board uh, new delhi srija has been came forward and it has been taken mou with uh, drda chitu uh, so even our milk is going to delhi also uh, the primary intention uh, of this is uh, to empower women economically and also to generate uh, women employment in BMCs. Totally now we are running uh, 75 BMCs. In that, uh, Jilla Samakya, it is getting some profit. Mandar Samakya is getting some profit. Even the poorers who are pouring the milk uh, to, the, to these BMCs, uh, that is uh, bulk milk chilling units, uh, they are getting good uh, market uh, price when compared to the other dairies. It's one of the important uh, aspects. We, we are very thankful to the Srija, uh, which is a uh, Delhi based uh, company. Uh, it has been collaborated here and it is giving the chilling price per liter as 0 0.92 paisa. Here, um, these uh, mil milking and everything being done by us uh, by uh, by members and the collecting milk at uh, MPP it is also done by the our uh, ma Mahila milk pourers only they will collect those things and they throw with the help of uh, some van they will take and they will take to the BMCs there also at the BMC even testing the milk with uh, uh, how much uh, fat content is there everything there we provide in BMC six jobs will will be providing that is collection person will be there cleaning per person will be there even uh, checking of that uh, fat content and uh, how the milk pouring content everything be done by the SHGs only and they will store it in our BMCs after that that uh, milk van will be coming and they will collecting the data for these things uh, uh, by storing this milk we are getting uh, 0 0.92 paisa in that uh, some part will be given to the Jilla Samakya and some part will be there in Mahila Samakyas. So this amount which has been generating in the Mahila Samakyas will be rotating among themselves as a loan purpose and they're increasing their livelihood activities. So it is one of the income generating them for, for all the SHG women. Actually, it has been established at Gangavaram uh, in during uh, past 2005. At that time, only few mandals is there, uh, but now it has been increased to nearly 45 mandals with the 75 BMCs. Daily, we are collecting 2.80 lakh liters. That is nearly now it came to 3 lakh liters. Daily, our SAG members we are collecting 3 lakh liters, and these 3 lakh liters we are storing in our BMCs. And, uh, we, and and also here uh, it is like that of a federation that is the milk pourers who are the SHG members they are the federation in the SHG that Srija as a co-partner so as a cooperative society they are running if any dividend fund is there it will be coming back to the milk pourers only but uh, everything is online uh, on a monthly basis how much uh, fat content is there per liter how much on today it is going 32 rupees on on slip on slip that is very transparency itself we are showing there itself and 32 rupees liter for 15 days every 15 days the amount will be accounting in the bank accounts like that of a cooperative society it is getting the main intention is here uh, uh, most of them will be some uh, uh, middlemen will be there they are collecting the milk but they are giving per liter 20 rupees uh, 20 
34 rupees and, and they are selling to the outside outside as 30 35 rupees to overcome all these things we are practicing our own uh, uh, bmcs and we are running it gives uh, some economic independence to our uh, uh, women and also parallelly they are taking uh, more uh, livestock also uh, for example, a cow is giving 10 liters, but as the demand is good, uh, even so, sometimes uh, these Srija people, they are supplying good uh, feed and everything. So to increase their, uh, they are asking loans. We are also providing the loans for livestock. So we are increasing parallelly the livestock also. Uh, the main uh, utilization and uh, uh, impact of, all, of this BMCC is that uh, the Jilla Samaikya, uh, we, we are getting uh, 2.25 lakhs every month. So it is one of the good income. With that income, they will take the loans and they will rotate. And it is a standard fund for them. Uh, when referring to this, uh, madam, actually in uh, 2021, uh, total revenue generated is 6.9 crores. So in that, uh, they have got nearly 2 crores of profit. Uh, uh, main main thing uh, uh, most nearly here 35 diaries are running madam at uh, chittur but uh, in that uh, our bmc is the most collections uh, 3 lakhs is the highest collection of milk per day uh, still we want to strengthen our bmc still we want to have more bmcs and uh, we want to continue some mini diaries also some of the sg members uh, they are planning for mini diaries uh, they can utilize it uh, and they can run it in a good way and now through uh, PM now as uh, small scale industries so now, now each SAG members they are getting 20 lakhs also so that SAG group is able to get one crore now they are planning uh, for high order enterprises they are planning to have a good dairy development basing on this uh, so it gives a economic boost for the rural women and nearly 700 uh, women employments are there they are getting the salary of 8,000, 10,000, but the work will be very less. Uh, that is morning three hours and uh, evening three hours. So uh, whenever they are free leisure, uh, at that time they will be, they only the secretary, secretary will be there. They only the bill collecting people. They only the scaling people and everything will be the SHG women of that mandal only. And these people will collect and they will take and they will take to the uh, BMC centers. The routes will be given through the routes. Uh, no private agency, no mediator will be there. Directly it will be going to the BMCs and amount is also directly coming to their account. If that uh, Srija Dairy Development has any profits, in that profit also as a dividend, these porous will be getting those things. It has been also selected as a unique one uh, in uh, 2020, one of the good one. It has been awarded for Srija. It has been awarded mostly. It is totally run by the women. Uh, this is about the BMCs. It's one of the um, excellent one and good empowerment and also good economic source, source for, uh, for the SHG women. Mute Chanti. Sir, mute sir, why, is, why is not coming, sir? You're muted. Uh, uh. Yeah, sir. No, because since uh, my wife is choking now. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, see, this is very interesting because, you see, we have a very good experience in India. The, uh, we are successful during independence because of non-cooperation. But we are successful of Amul movement because of cooperation. Yes, so sir, we yes, have two different things. So, but new US is in the line. Yeah. So after Kera, I could see some thing that is happening elsewhere down south in uh, Chittur area. Yeah. So it is, it's not an easy thing to mobilize women into an organized cooperative mode yes. to bring them each one as a leader to the Cooperation, cooperative movement is each one becomes a leader and they participate in that. Yes. So, although they had all these potentials to with the milk cattle and all that, but organizing them on the commercial viable manner is a Hercules task that we have done. Yes, sir. Now, I have uh, because you have linked with the diary board and all that is great. 
you, you, things have done and the, the teething problem is over. Now the challenge here is now is that you see, now you have still lack a little products yes, every day. Yes, the collection. Uh, so what what is the local consumption in Andhra Pradesh itself? Because I remember Vijay Diary was started very successfully one time, but it's nowhere yes. to be seen now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I have to be careful about it. Yes, sir. The, the other thing is that, you see, since you have so much surplus production, then you can channelize it to, to different byproducts of milk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not enterprises, so that these are easily, instead of storing it longer in cold storage or sending outside with which is a cost additive, yes, you can sir. put women, uh, uh, you know, entre entrepreneurs to start byproducts, milk byproducts, and many, yes, many including yes, sweets sir. and everything. That yes, will sir. not only generate employment to local thing, but yes, a huge commercial potentiality. Yes, so that, that is something that you can tie up with the polar ready said you say that we are sending you. No, sir. Actually, uh, under root bomb, sir, at Kukum, we planned a diary, sir. Nearly, it is a four crores project. It is under implementation, sir. If it comes, means uh, we most of the milk we will plan. And also through uh, some micro enterprises, nearly some of the SSGs are coming. The group as a thing uh, with the four crores or five crores they want to keep. Uh, we are giving uh, mostly in this year we may start, sir. Okay. No, but one important thing is that you see in Andhra Pradesh, lots of women, very hardworking, and they have this capacity to, uh, you know, to nurture milk and exploit the profits. Yes. So you have to spread out to entire Andhra Pradesh and uh, develop a kind of a cooperative movement just in the line with the care. Of course, this yes. is a success story, but this success story should be grand success now. <laughs> thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Well done. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Achha, one thing I want to ask you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, ma'am, just, I just sorry. forgot that. Sorry. Now, with the efforts you made, the changes you brought in in the um, uh, this sector, yes. what is the economic improvement you see at the household level, in particular the women's situation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I already told no, sir. Actually, uh, this is bringing uh, a new employment. Nearly, sir, I told two crores profit. This two crores profit came to the women only. So previously, sir, their uh, livelihood will be with uh, 5,000. Now, as our UBMCs and with all those, them, now their uh, monthly income is getting 10,000. Okay. They can okay. earn 10,000. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and parallelly, they are increasing their SAG, sir. SAG is also one of the cooperative ones. They are also, they are getting, in Jilla Samakya, now up to now 13 crores fund is there. there it is their fund only. And in Mandar Samakya also, some fund is there. Parallelly, they are generating the employment also, sir. So anyway, you are accelerating the white revolution anyway. <laughs> thank you. And also, sorry, ma'am, sorry, ma'am. That is okay. And also, they are uh, increasing the number of livestock they are owning. Yes, yes, From the profit. So yes, basically, their assets are increasing, their income is increasing, and uh, that credibility is going up. Yes, ma'am. Because yes. actually, private diaries, madam, they used to take uh, with uh, 20 rupees per liter, 24 rupees now per liter. 36. Yeah, 36 yes. also. Even sometimes, uh, you, their CNF and everything is more, even 40 rupees also they are getting. Equal. Most here, madam, Chittur, cows, cows are more in number uh, compared to the buffaloes. So the, the demand is also more. They are also getting satisfied amount. Yeah, yeah. You said something like the Tirupati brand. Is the Tirupati brand of milk? No, madam. Tiru what Srija. Is? Srija. The plant is at uh, Tirupati. Achha, Their plant the, is at the Tirupati. The plant is at Tirupati, so they yes. are... Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. sir. This, uh, this actually for this uh, at the uh, beginning time, uh, even our subscribers are SAG women only, sir. After that, we slowly being uh, spreading it. The main intention of this magazine is empowering our women. That is uh, what are the challenges we are facing, uh, even uh, as human developmental challenge, challenges uh, or other uh, challenges, and even uh, empowering the government schemes, what are the schemes present, everything we are presenting in our magazine, sir. This is a monthly magazine. 
uh, which the news and everything is being uh, carried and done by the SHG persons. In that, sir, uh, we have selected uh, some resource persons for this magazine. These persons will be 10, 15 members. Even their educational qualifications are very less. But every six months, we are empowering, giving them training with uh, some good uh, newspaper uh, agents like the local media people, even uh, even some good magazine, uh, some Hindu people, Hindu people also came and they are also showing them how to take the video, how to analyze that uh, news and everything. This has been educated to our SHG women. So the process, uh, how this uh, process uh, we are doing in that, a very, uh, very mundane, one resource person will be there. They will be collecting their mundane activities and uh, uh, parallelly, the district activities, state activities. So these uh, news will be uh, collecting and they only preparing at the Mandal level, Mandal Samakya. And these Mandal Samakya levels, they will be drafted and they will be sent uh, sent to the Jil Jilla Samakya. Jilla Samakya means to the district. There again, they will be summarizing the newspapers and what are the things that should be published and everything will be scrutinized. After that, uh, printing and being done here itself. And after printing, also they will distribute it to how many magazines to be distributed to the each mandal it will be done in a process in all these things nearly uh, 200 employments also we have given for our SHG members only the main uh, challenges uh, to run the magazine in this competitiveness uh, is uh, challenging, but nearly 7 lakh people is ours only. Uh, and also, uh, these uh, people are very rural people and uh, they are not having a good knowledge uh, in all those things. So, continuously enhancement of training is needed for them. Uh, how we have to pick all those things. And also, this... Uh, uh, professional qualification in journalism is not there. For them also, we are giving that uh, journalism, without journalism qualifications, we are running. But recently, for the past two years, uh, some of the SHG members who are qualified as degree or PG completed members also working in these magazines. Uh, in the beginning, only 750 copies are there, sir. Now it is very... Uh, pride to say that nearly 50,000 copies every month uh, we are distributing and it is reaching to the 7 lakh people. So. In the uh, in this uh, sir in this magazine mostly we are focusing on uh, that month activities uh, in any mandal any good activity being done by the SHG woman that can be published in this magazine. For this, uh, a good reputation has been came, uh, came and uh, it is one of the unique uh, one. Recently, last year uh, on uh, May 8th, uh, it has BBC people has came and channelized uh, and it is uh, empowered in uh, TV also as a woman empowerment. It is one of the unique features for the women empowerment, uh, totally being taken up by the uh, women people only. And uh, even our subscribers also increasing day by day all the government activities we are publishing and also the especially uh, the child marriages during sir gangamma jatra and sometimes there will be more child marriages here that also be curtailed to, through the gender counseling and everything it will be published in the magazine so awareness will come to the other people also to curtail all those things and also women trafficking is more sir as it is very near to chennai and bangalore that nearly sir i am very proud to say that nearly 90% of them it has been stopped. Uh, even uh, we have shared the data with the uh, ICDS and all other things. Most of them are our SAG women only. We cut it a lot and we make them due to wide publicity. In every month, there will be one corner page will be there, especially for these activities, uh, for uh, gender activities and all those things. And also we are giving a good counseling also some. Uh, for family counseling also. These also will be published. And for livelihoods, we have divided the magazine. For livelihood enhancement activities, uh, uh, Pradhan Mantri Rozgar Yojana and all other activities being published. So with the uh, government schemes, how the family is going to be developed. Previously, how their annual income. After coming to the, uh, as adding as a SHG member, after utilizing the government loans and all those things, how properly they are utilizing all these things. How their annual well, uh, income has been increased. These will be published in the magazines. 
and uh, uh, even sir recently for the past six months we are giving some advertisements also in our magazine and also some of them has been selected as the uh, subpunches uh, and some of them are uh, mpps jpts they also will be published so that it can give more empowerment to the rural women that uh, where we can be able to come into the politics also sir uh, uh main innovative activities what we have taken means uh, to fight about the child rights and gender issues human trafficking a special paragraph is being given and special team is also working already one gender team is working it will be collaborated with the mandal teams uh, and wherever the things is there it will be published uh, wide publicity will be there and also the, the journalist uh, survey surveys also we are taking frequently that is uh, how their livelihood activities previously how it is after that what is the livelihood activity how their uh, uh, improvement is there and all those things even uh, during the covid times also distribution of masks uh, and with the help of uh, some ngos distribution of food vegetables uh, and some other things where rural poor are there that things also been published and uh, some uh, developmental activities uh, like that of uh, keeping some industry and uh, what is the basic uh, things they are getting to start with the industries and what are the other amenities that the project being uh, presented to them all these things can be shown in our magazines now uh, we are planning to expand it uh, uh, from 50000 to 1 lakh subscribers as uh, now last year before last year due to covid pandemic and all those things and also some financial uh, problems we have got uh, now we are improving more uh, not only in chitu district we want to spread in rayalseema other districts also as we are starting so many supermarkets and all those things in everywhere we want to present our activities and and also the actually to throw this uh, Navodaya magazine a good uh, fund providing opportunities and also employment generation also we are providing so this is the subscription growth how it is frequently growing it uh, and so this is these are the awards for which Navodaya has been received. United Nations Development Lady Media Special Jury Award. It has been taken during the 2009, and also during our late Honorable Chief Minister from Rashtra Karadisa, we have taken it as a data news future because most of the rural outlooks has been been seen in this magazine, and with our Honorable District Collector also as a district best magazine we have received so these are the things uh, which we are doing uh, frequently frequently the gender meetings and all wherever the things is there the, that thing will be published and every month uh, collaborative news will be published in all these things uh, nrlm team or government of india team visits and everything we are exposing that is uh, so the activities like uh, whom Human developmental activities or farmer producer organization activities and also some we are having a terracotta and all those things those also we are publishing in our magazines even kitchen gardens uh, health issues uh, and one page will be there for them that is a that is a health page by taking that millets how the health will be uh, by taking leafy vegetables like a very all round like that of all other private magazines uh, we are we are being published on in all these things this is from the navodaya sure. literally navodaya thing that you have initiated is uh pioneering effort i must say yeah sir. pioneering effort in terms of uh, you know putting the woman in the forefront in the literary movement to bring yes. about social change and yes. social awareness yes. and overall empowerment yeah sir excellent job uh, i mean this is a very hard task because we have to start from scratches yes, from sir. the people who are not professionals yes sir they but they have to you know, put their voice across and become the mouthpiece of yes, the sir. woman and gender, say, reflect upon various issues they come across, they know of, and also they react of. So yes, many sir. things you have covered, including your social issues like child marriage, women trafficking, 
uh, maybe also on atrocities in many yes. things in kind, yes, of, in the kind of also reporting and generating a kind of a social consciousness and awareness yes. as to what's happening in the society yes so sir. this is a wonderful thing you are doing and especially i am impressed because uh, you also uh, roped in the uh, the journalist to provide the little missing inputs that they need professionally as as a thing how many yes. magazines how many magazines in a month do you print and how sir, many monthly magazines sir no, 50000 sir 50000 copies in a month yes sir in a month acha then uh, are you trying to make a kind of a federated uh, uh, you know group sir. in the across the state in telugu yes sir yes sir we are planning sir we are we are planning we already discussed yeah, with our have yes sir huge population put andhra yes, and telangana yes sir know, put together yes so uh, then, then then you must have a institute now yes sir as i feel institute of for the women for journalism and local women for where yes, people from other areas come and get oriented and uh, also try to put a particular curriculum in the uh, school syllabus yes to make children aware that they can write and they can reflect upon various issues that they come across in living yes, conditions yeah sir some of the things which i said but is an excellent uh, initiative is much needed Thanks. but i mean many women cannot speak because yes. their voice is choked but here <laughs> no one can choke the voice because you can write and it, it reaches out many thank you for this thank you yes. excellent job. thank you sir thank you very much excellent. we will take <laughs> yeah ma'am <laughs> <laughs> it is very difficult for professional even professional to bring out a quarterly magazine yeah you are doing it once a month by people who are um, uh, not exactly a, you know media professionals but still you are doing it i mean yes. they may or may not be most of them may or may not be that well educated still you are managing to get content uh, yes. your content is bilingual telugu as well as english or only telugu telugu only local language telugu only madam Oh, very good, very good. So people can understand that. Yes. Uh, I mean, I have got nothing to say except that it's a brilliant idea, and uh, let's hope that you sustain it for a long time. You yeah, can't be sure. just about largely over in two thousand nine, so that means yes. it's running for at least thirteen years. Yes, sure, man. Yes, man. Past without, without a break, huh? Yes. I think it is an achievement. You must, you know, uh, put it at, as a case study somewhere. Yeah, ma'am. Scotch is good, good enough platform, but you have to go beyond Scotch. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Got to go to the national level, state level, and national level. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Keep up the good, keep up the good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for. Thank you very much for considering my request. I am. Uh, my name is Dr. C. Ram Chandra, Director of Hindu Memorial Institute of Oncology. Kidwa Memorial Institute of Oncology was started way back in 1973 and became autonomous in 1980. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know we treat about approximately 2,000 patients every day. I have took over as a director four years ago, and there are a lot of changes we have made. Today, when I took over, the hospital bed strength was about 640. You know, today is more than 1,000 beds, and most of them, 90% of the patients are below poverty line, and we have about 100 beds of Uh, uh, childhood and the pediatric cancer beds, wherein um, uh, the ten percent of the patients are from northeast, especially West Bengal and uh, the northeast and parts of the country. And a lot of people come from Bengal. I mean, Bengal, Assam, Bihar, and UP also. And in addition to the southern side, ours is one of the center for excellence for not only treating; it's also for teaching. Also, we have many academics. Approximately, we have about two hundred and seventy. Uh, students here uh, and uh, about 54 post graduates including uh, the mc surgical oncology dm medical oncology and we have radiotherapy we have all other you know super specialty courses concerned with oncology the annual workload is this this is actually registered cases in 2021 approximately we see about uh, nearly 20000 new cases every year and more than 3 lakh people follow up cases every year and the bed strength has increased up to 1000 beds today in spite of that you know there is a waiting list of 8 to 10 days 
and we have academics we have super speciality oncology courses in surgical gynec hedonic medical pediatric and oncopathology also and broad specialties uh, the pj courses in anesthesia microbiology and many more like that and we also have allied sciences of anesthesia operation theater laboratory all other courses and we have many schemes this is how you know we survive mainly honestly speaking the ayushman bharat aarogya karnataka is one of of course ayushman bharat is clubbed with aarogya karnataka and uh, this is a major contributor here up to 5 lakhs is free for any patient with a bpl card and uh, uh, the indian citizenship of course and we have rashtriya aarogya nidhi karnataka chief minister relief fund the scst fund and the ex serviceman contributor fund and ysr aarogya karnataka from andhra pradesh and many more like that hl bl and all and we have state of the art facilities probably when i will learn to the student 3 decades ago and we had you know ordinary rooms are converted into operation theater we have today 13 operation theaters two more are going to be con- under renovation now probably another three months time two more will be ready when we came here i mean i occupied as a director there were about five ventilators today we have nearly 45 ventilators and uh, we have close to we have one of the best robots in the uh, country the xi robotic surgery so far we have done about nearly 1000 cases and we do approximately about uh, more than 3000 major cases and uh, more than you know 1000 uh, under minor cases and with the addition of the present you know five more theaters probably it will go up the further and uh, you name anything for that matter we have robotic surgery interventional radiology laparoscopy etc and uh, we have 10 bunkers for radiotherapy we have the capacity to treat about 800 to 900 patients every day and we also have two bunkers in gulbarga peripheral cancer center the karnataka government also sanctioned under our blessing uh, the present government we have sanctioned centers in mysore shumagga Uh, Belgavi, Ballari, and Tumkur. Of course, Tumkur construction is going on now, and we have state-of-the-art CT simulators with laser technology, which is not there in many places in the country. And uh, you name anything in radiotherapy and surgical, we have everything. And we have about approximately about uh, 60 beds of daycare ward, wherein seven to seven, it's morning seven to evening seven, we treat cases. And uh, we have couches, specially designed couches, which can be turned to, including flat up to the upright position. And uh, these patients will receive two to three patients will receive in each couch. So approximately about one fifty patients will receive on each couch. Such centers we opened eleven centers across Karnataka in major cities, so that they can give chemotherapy there. Any queries, anything required, you know, we moderate them, we help them. Approximately about more than one point three lakh people receive radiotherapy here. and we have state of the art outpatient department this is constructed by infosys foundation at a cost of approximately 57 crores and in all in after me coming over the infosys has donated more than 70 crores of csr fund and uh, including five operation theaters the best of the best the operation theaters and bone marrow transplant unit so i would like to explain to you about bone marrow transplant unit this is very much required when as a student you know i have grown up i have always realized that you know we should have had today we have one of the state of the art 17 bedded bone marrow transplant unit and four patients already discharged five are receiving treatment and 50 are already lined up trust me nobody none of the patient can spend one rupee also we managed to give them in the government funds are not there some of we are managing and you know we don't deny any patient whether we have money don't have money whether it is robotic surgery a bone marrow transplant radiotherapy anything for that matter we don't deny any patient for the sake of money they do get their share of treatment we started center of the the center for the genomic and advanced uh, molecular biology lab wherein we give out almost like subsidy rates of one third of the market rate and it's available around the clock two pet scans we are going to start now this year the building is ready and this month and 27th is fixed to for the inauguration of two pet scans by the honorable chief minister and i have made it the e hospitalization one of the biggest problems in kidwa is 23 acres of land a large space patient cannot run around from place to place in this regard i have made it e hospitalization wherein the lab the packs everything all the investigations including ot notes the pathology notes everything should come to computer patient should come to the doctor doctor should see the reports and patient should not be made run around we have installed the cctv cameras and probably this is the safest place in the country i would say and uh, picture archival and communication system packs is available now and we have about when i occupied about 48 beds were there icu today i have converted into 110 beds now the 24 hours lab the whole city can be closed but kidwa 24 hours lab is available all the tests are available at a very subsidized rate 
the covid lab we started in the molecular biology so far we have tested about 28 lakh samples and we have left the help of the bbmp during this time we have started a psycho oncology treatment where the counseling is very much required the solid waste management in a government setup first time we have tried and it's working very well they collect the waste convert into energy and give it and we register patient 24 bar 7 the NABH accreditation and Kaya Kalpa is actually applied now. Most probably in another one, two months, it's going to come. We have one of the best bird banks with the help of Rotary. I'm going to upgrade it and make it available for everybody in the state. Community oncology, we have three buses wherein they are equipped with the mammogram, ultrasound, X-ray, blood test, and pap smear and colposcope. We go to places, many places in the periphery, and we tell them, inform them beforehand, send the pamphlets or hand pamphlets, printouts, and whoever is required and any symptom of cancer for that matter, the long standing cough, fever, swelling, anything for that matter, any pain, we'll tell them to come over there. We screen them, give a card, call them to Kidwai. So that in a way we have started a screening program in a large scale. We want to increase it to it in a still larger scale. I've already informed the government. The greenery, so you can probably, one of you can visit Kidwai, please. I'll be very happy to host you. And in fact, 35 to 40,000 trees and plants we hosted and you know, after two years, probably our institute will be better than Lalbagh or Kaban Park. You see more greenways than anywhere in the country. We have a center in PCC Gulbarga. Uh, we have everything there, 100 bed hospital. We have two radiotherapy missions, you know, one operation theater. I'm going to upgrade it to 175 and two operation theater and one more radiation therapy mission also. And we have going to we're going to start in Mysore, Shumaga, Belgavi, Tumkur, and Ballari also. And as I said, 11 chemotherapy centers are started across the country. The bottlenecks are, you know, space constrained where 500 people can be treated, 2000 patients come every day. But with all this, none of the patient goes out whether they have money, don't have money. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you very much for this. The greatest constraint here is the land. I have also requested the government to allow 100 acres of land for starting a research unit exclusively on cancer and palliative care center. The idea of starting palliative care center is basically, you know, many other people who can afford, suppose it is a nuclear family, the husband and wife both work, children go to school and colleges, and the mother and father suffer from cancer. Such people, they're ready to pay a nominal amount, but they don't have a proper space. I want to create for both paying and non-paying also. The government of Karnataka has agreed, and already they're in the process of providing a land for this. Hopefully, in another you know, few years' time, a big research center for cancer, exclusive cancer center, and a palliative cancer center will come up. Thank you very much. And another thing is speciality block. I want to separate the affordable people from non-affordable so that we generate more money from affordable people. In fact, I feel jealous when they go to places where they're less equipped and our own students go practice outside. And there people go because basically they don't want to stand in queue with the below poverty line people. And hopefully in another few years time, you know, the speciality block will start. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Sir. This, uh, this gives a great pride to know that in our country, such a robust, comprehensively versatile medical treatment is provided through a well standardized institutional support. Thank you. And it's more so it has a national relevance because you get people across the country and they reach you to, and you don't deny anyone your service. Such that is something which is, you know, which, which makes the medical profession a noble profession. So, so and uh, recognizing all these things also, the CSR people also come through, but you have kind of work you are doing, the demand for work, the expense that you require. Obviously, land is one commodity that you require more. And you have spread out all over Karnataka with different activities and your job is, I mean, I have no doubt that you will get land in due course of time and in expense for that. So you are at the service of the nation, service of the mankind and uh, it's, it's easy to say find faults, but the kind of job you are doing, it is, I'm very laudable and laudable. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I always feel it's, it's commendable because you know most of the government hospitals say we live in Delhi, Ames, or say Sabdarjan. Uh, people are wary of the lines, the queue, long queue, and the um, and it 
not possible for a government hospital to provide uh, free of cost service to everybody, but at least you are able to do it. And 90% of your patients are uh, free of cost, BPL. So I think that's very encouraging. Um, let's, let's hope that you get government land uh, because CSR funds can come from many uh, corporates and companies and all that. But land can be given only by the uh, government. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of the uh, corporate body will be having so much of land to give because they themselves are looking for land. Uh, so government is your only salvation. Probably your um, bargaining point is that you are providing free of cost service to everybody and you don't deny anybody because of uh, lack of funds. So uh, I hope that you get success in your India work. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very commendable. I always tell you, madam, for a doctor, most important thing is humanity, not money. And That's in our place, treatment first, payment next. And the second important thing is, madam, after me occupying the post of director, I received more than 100 crores of CSR fund. There are many viewers, but we should show our honesty and efficiency. That's right. That's right. Thank you so Basically, much. Basically, that, that is the ethics of a doctor, to save the patient's life. And you are following to the point T. So, thank you, madam. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we should be actually pulling our hands to you. Thank you. Project and the main aim of the project was to turn all those um, food processing activities which are um, uh, there in unorganized sector to turn into to turn them into organized sector. And it was a five-year project and started last year. So next slide. The main, uh, um, the objective being um, uh, to make them more organized and uh, to um, uh, provide market linkages to these people who are uh, have uh, indulging in the mainly rural women, SAG group women who are um, um, uh, making these uh, food products to access, uh, um, you know, uh, bigger markets or wider markets. And then um, also provide credit linked um, uh, grant uh, with some kind of subsidy. So this was a... Um, uh, uh, um, uh, very good scheme and um, here uh, AP food processing uh, um, agency was the uh, nodal agency and uh, SERP is the implementing agency and uh, from their uh, food processing um, uh, agency 35% project um, cost was uh, given as a uh, subsidy and then, um, um, then from uh, the uh, PMFME from the uh, GOI a seed capital of 40,000 for SAG member was given. So um, uh, together, uh, this enabled a lot of um, uh, credit uh, uh, to the woman uh, who, is, uh, who is engaged in food processing activities. So uh, the credit link grant at 35% of project cost and also um, uh, this uh, seed capital enabled all these women um, uh, who are uh, engaged in food processing activity to invest more into their uh, regular uh, activities and uh, um, uh, ma make it uh, more organized and um, uh, enable them to um, have a, uh, a good uh, um, sales. So all this support was done, whether um, uh, it, it was in terms of accessing credit, secondly, giving them uh, support through uh, food processing ANC um, as to get their uh, certifications, licenses, uh, FSSA um, uh, certificate is the first uh, step towards that, uh, which would make the, um, um, uh, the products made by the women accessible. Uh, most of the women, SH women, uh, they uh, make pickles, uh, um, uh, they make um, all these um, 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 uh, <coughs> sweets and um, uh, many food products uh, which are locally sold, but uh, they cannot be sold outside for the lack of these certifications. All this uh, we had provided, all these trainings we had provided, all this support we had given them. And um, uh, by way of uh, strengthening um, you know, branding um, and also uh, marketing, an organized supply chain was made. Next slide. So um, as you can see, either existing food processing enterprise was identified or a new food processing enterprise was identified. 35% project, uh, percent of the project cost was given as subsidy up to 10 lakhs. And then beneficiary contribution was 10%, bank loan 55%. A, um, a very good um, uh, structure. So this would enable, uh, this enabled many um, a, um, uh, um, SAG women to opt for this scheme. And uh, so we um, um, divided our activities into, one was into capacity building, then handholding support, marketing support, and financial assistance. And um, uh, we also, 
um, tried to provide wherever possible warehouse cold storage and packaging primary processing facilities and also our food processing um, uh, agency came forward to give us a lot of uh, support uh, in uh, getting these licenses and then uh, for uh, some of these existing or um, uh, uh, processing enterprise food uh, processing enterprise were um, um, elevated to hoe higher order enterprise for that the eligibility was uh, 18 to 54 and uh, willingness to uh, contribute 10 percent of um, uh, project cost so that also we have taken up many cases um, and um, 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 in fact um, uh, we again um, i'm happy to um, uh, you know state that uh, in pm fma scheme ap has been um, again the leader in the entire country both in uh, number of uh, individual enterprise and as well as in hoe higher order enterprise next slide so 2021 20, 22 we identified more than 9791 units and 7597 were established and for them we gave 29.29 crores <coughs> e crores has been released at 40000 per member as seat captain so then um, uh, there was also a credit um, 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 from bank credit additionally that was provided to them and then 2000 members have been identified and the uh, amount uh, is to be released so even though these uh, uh, people were identified um, the amount is to be released but there are some technical difficulties which uh, we'll be doing so even this 7597 already um, established um, um, uh, uh, units have been making good progress and then uh, finance tracking is done through we have a um, a federation, um, you know, we, by name Srinidhi, um, the MD of Srinidhi is sitting next to me, and uh, they uh, they are a sister uh, concern of uh, SERP. Uh, they provide um, uh, uh, finance uh, loans to all these SHG women. So that tracking is done of all these 7,597, we uh, finance through Srinidhi. And um, for higher order enterprise, we went ahead with banks. So uh, we are um, uh, tracking them. And then for 22-23, we are targeting 10,000 um, uh, units and uh, seed capital target amount is 40 crores. As on uh, date, 5,549 have been uploaded. Next slide. So as can be seen, um, um, again here AP has been uh, standing, already approved by the um, uh, state uh, nodal agency 7,600 units uh, and uh, no other state um, uh, could cross 1,000. So this is from um, uh, uh, Ministry of uh, Food Processing uh, industry at um, um, GY, uh, their inf um, uh, information as per their uh, uh, this thing. AP is uh, market leader here. Next slide. So these were uh, some of the challenge, uh, challenges faced by both beneficiaries as well as SERP. You know, first to identify, uh, we, we, even though the um, uh, structure, the um, uh, uh, the way this PM FME uh, functions or works, uh, yeah, that uh, structure has, is very beautiful, 10% contribution beneficiary, 35% subsidy, 55% bank credit. In additionally, we have 40,000 seed capital. So this, uh, the, even though this has been very good, but identifying units uh, which are uh, facing some challenges and mobilizing all these uh, micro food processing beneficiaries um, was uh, one of the uh, challenge faced by our uh, field level uh, people. Then um, uh, these uh, industries were, uh, these um, uh, entrepreneurs were facing, uh, beneficiaries were facing challenges. The main challenges were lack of access to modern technology or equipment, training, and access to institutional credit. I found um, uh, some of them wanted to do, um, um, you know, oil extraction, but they are not having access to uh, the modern uh, technology, mo modern extraction uh, machines. So we have taken up many such um, uh, units this time. You know, a lot of um, uh, now people post COVID are um, uh, um, are interested in um, consuming foods uh, um, uh, with uh, some kind of nutrient values, and um, uh, more and more people are um, now consuming edible oils, which are just um, extracted um, uh, by these small uh, uh, rotary kind of um, uh, you know uh, uh, machines uh, instead of uh, um, oils which are processed, refined. Um, in the bigger units. So uh, uh, these uh, small, um, um, uh, you know, extraction um, uh, machines were supplied to, to many of the uh, PM FME beneficiaries. Then loan request applications were pending. At uh, sorry for interruption, sir. Yes. Uh, can you please conclude your presentation in two minutes, sir? Yes. 
so many challenges were there uh, lack of basic awareness was there um, and then um, uh, in quality control they were not having certificates and uh, some technical problems we faced in other duplication like all this there were some npa in sg groups next slide so we overcome um, all these challenges by having awareness programs in pme pme on pme pme scheme and then uh, grounding of higher and order enterprise also we was done by respect to district dpms and apms um, and uh, we organized some dwakra bazaars and saras exhibitions in the districts um, for um, uh, you know uh, providing market to all these uh, products and then um, now we have as i was telling we have made um, um, uh, online uh, we have uh, boarded uh, many products uh, especially food products like we have famous putarekalu uh, small uh, sweet uh, 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 finer sweet made in east godavari district so all such kind of um, you know bandar halwa uh, they are all having uh, gs certifications all that have been now um, uh, boarded into online uh, and then next slide um and then uh, we had some innovations with our apps uh, and then uh, uh, we um, time to time we had data from uh, strinidhi dcb report was taken and um, we replaced uh, uh, some of the uh, members above age and all this was done and pmfme website also was provided to all our dpme level um, and apm level uh, functionaries um, um, to uh, you know uh, enable them to submit their documentation and all that uh, and uh, approval of dlc in a uh, quicker um, um, you know period of time next slide so this is the process identification of new or existing sg apm center member details in the nrlm site and then state level committee gives the approvals and then loan amount by 60% share and state government share 40% is released and this uh, amount is released to mandal samakhyas next slide so the outcome has been you, you are seeing now 7500 uh, beneficiaries already grounded and higher order enterprise also getting 35% from um, subsidy so uh, there, there there has been lot of success stories which can be seen in the slides coming next slide so um, uh, here you can see many of these um, um, activities that are done um, and um, um, uh, making uh, whether it is roti making or whether it is um, um, oil extraction or whether it is biscuit making all these um, uh, they have been doing quite well next slide so the one success story which we had um, uh, given uh, to nrlm uh, was uh, a small sweets and bakery shop uh, who were not able to make anything out of it uh, even though they were in, uh, in the business for so many years now with this um, uh, subsidy and with this seed, seed capital uh, they are making more than 500 uh, rupees every day next slide so this is the uh, beneficiary she is quite happy next so this is the fssa certificate given to them next so these are chapati making units next so these are pickles and papad units we are next so pickles you can see now nicely packed earlier they were not being done they were um, uh, being packed in a um, uh, not a proper manner where, where consumer preferences were very low for that next now this is millets now um, uh, recently there has been lot of emphasis on millets now 2023 being an international year of millets we are focusing on millet uh, uh, promotion next so this oil extraction unit i was telling you many many of the people are um, um, uh, willing to buy these oils um, even uh, even at a higher rate than the oil which is refined and processed and this comes uh, this uh, machinery comes at 3.5 lakh rupees uh, um, um, and um, uh, with that 35% subsidy and uh, 10% is the contribution remaining 55% is uh, bank uh, loan um uh, this uh, beneficiary has been quite uh, happy next so noodles unit has been started in many places next so this is a bakery in uh, karnool next so these are some of the success stories in pmfme again i was i was uh, um, uh, putting it before the committee uh, that um, um, ap uh, used this uh, uh, beautiful uh, scheme uh, to at least make um, you know 10000 entrepreneurs uh, um you know make use of all these uh, facilities and uh, turn uh, their uh, uh, small activities into a sustainable livelihood success stories thank you thank you pm fme is one of the well conceived schemes to uh, you know develop the potentiality of the state and the need of the state 
in setting up units through uh, micro food processing. And of course, the scheme is well conceived is not enough unless it's impl implemented the way you are implementing it. You have been implementing very successfully in many areas. But some of the problems you have identified, this includes unit identification, quality control. The how do you unit identification, what mechanism you have developed and what rationality you have adapted to unit identification and quality control, what mechanism do you have in place? And the most important part is the objective of this micro uh, level food processing thing is this not only for income generation, but also it provides some kind of employment avenues for the local. So how much, uh, how, how many of the, these micro units that you, units you set up or your supporter have generated employment opportunities? How many people have got employment through this thing? And in terms of, uh, you know, economic upliftment, what is the pre and post income generation level and what is the gain is that? Can you reflect on that? Yes, sir. In that story? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can, you can tell. You can come here. You can come here. Sir, in fact, uh, uh, some uh, units, uh, um, we had visited these uh, units in East Kodavari district. Now uh, they are um, employing uh, not less than 10 people. So it was very heartening to note that uh, um, some women, uh, um, you know, uh, who are into micro food processing, uh, they are now employing about 10 people. Uh, that is good. You, you want to tell something. Uh, sir, whatever he was had, uh, said story, no? Street soup. That lady previously she earned only 500 rupees. Sir. Now her income levels is 1000 rupees per month, per day. So, like that, in each and every unit, the income levels are increased. Whatever we showed, all the stories, their income levels is 500 to 3000 rupees, like that, sir. Employment. Even the employment is also, majority of the units they hire two to uh, three lady employees are working in that. Whenever they require the major uh, act, uh, activity or major um, uh, the uh, what we call higher uh, orders, no. At that time, they hired the men people also. Even the that where whoever working in that unit, they gave three hundred rupees per wage compensation, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, excellent. Um, actually, you have really implemented the project for the benefit, not just like a project, a routine project. So that's why it is giving dividends. I just want to know, Kyodhya, that you said 10,000 beneficiaries are there with the scheme. Uh, uh, what is your plan for uh, upgrading, I mean, uh, making it larger, I mean, taking it to a larger base? That is number one. And number two question is that employment, which uh, Mr. Panda was asking, how much employment generation has happened? So uh, I understand two to three uh, women are being employed. Uh, are these SLG women or they are just when women nearby? Uh, most of the women in um, uh, AP are um, uh, SLG women only. Okay, they are all members. So you have got a very high rate of SLG enrollment. Yes, ma'am. This 10,000, why we are limiting is uh, the scheme designed uh, um, ensures so that... Because of the 40 crore, because of the uh, 40 crore uh, brand. In, so that is the um, amount limit is there. Ah, that, that, that is the reason. But uh, you can go, um, yeah. that, that has to come from government of India, the grant. That has to come from government of India. So that is why. Right, fine. Thank you very much. Thank Quite you. impressive.